Hello viewers, in this video, we are going to discuss the single beam photometer. Let's start with the principle. The single beam photometer follows the beer lamberts law to determine the concentration of an unknown sample. The absorption of light by a reference sample, an unknown sample is used to obtain the value of unknown. As seen in the diagram, we can start with the construction of this instrument. The basic components of a single beam filter photometer are a light source, an absorption or an interference filter. It is called a photometer because the device that is used for isolating the wavelengths here is a filter. A covet is used as a sample holder and a photo MSF or a photovoltaic cell acts as a detector. The source of light generally used is a black body source like a tungsten filament lamp. When the filament like tungsten is heated, it starts emitting radiations in the visible region. These radiations act as a source of light for the instrument. An intensity control circuit is used to vary the voltage supply to the tungsten filament lamp. By varying the supply, one can change the intensity. Care should be taken to keep the lamp intensity constant for the duration of the experiment. The next component is a filter. It can be a basic absorption filter made of material like colored glass, colored gelatin paper or even a colored solution. Interested viewers can go and check our exclusive video on filters. The link for the same is given in the description. The other filter that can be used is an interference filter. The detectors that can be used in a single beam photometer can be a photoemissive cell or a photovoltaic cell. Again, interested viewers can check the video on detectors. You can find the links in the description. The detector gives the reading of light intensity. Now let us understand the working of this instrument. As discussed in the principle, it is required to take readings of a standard reference sample for calibration purposes. The light from the source falls on the solution placed in the covet. Here, a part of light is absorbed and remaining part is transmitted. This transmitted light falls on the detector which produces photocurrent proportional to the light intensity. This photocurrent enters the galvanometer where readings are displayed. The instrument is operated in the following steps. Initially, the detector is darkened and galvanometer is adjusted mechanically to read zero. Now, a reference solution or blank solution is kept in the sample holder. The light transmitted from this solution is made to fall on the detector. The intensity of light source is adjusted using the intensity control circuit such that the galvanometer shows 100% transmission. Once this calibration is done, the readings for standard sample and unknown sample are taken and the concentration of unknown sample is found out using the formula the concentration of unknown sample equals the concentration of reference sample multiplied by the ratio of the unknown readings to the reference readings. That's for this video. Hope you enjoyed this video and understood the working of a single beam photometer. To watch such more videos, do subscribe to the channel. We would love to hear your comments in the section below. Stay calm and keep learning. Peace out.